Hello, today you are going to learn how to request and download a digital certificate from the FNMT, the Royal Mint of Spain, so you can use it as your identification when doing online procedures. So you will start on the section of Obtain Certificate Software natural person and then go to the link of previous settings for your browser to do this whole procedure on your computer your browser needs to meet some technical requirements for the process to run smoothly and without any errors it is important to keep in mind that you have to do the complete procedure by using the same computer and user here we can see which browsers are compatible. The most important ones are included, so you shouldn't have any problems when using one of these. In this case, I'll be using Google Chrome. And at the bottom of the page, you will see that there's the option to download a Configurador FNMT, which is basically an installation or setup wizard that makes this procedure easier to navigate. So click on it. And once in this section, look for the version of the operating system you are using right now. And the process will start right away. And the next steps are simply accepting the conditions, choosing where on our computer we want to store this program, and waiting a bit for it to finish. And here we will see a message that reminds us that we need to have the Autofirma app to install the certificate. So once this is finished, we click on Next. And after downloading it, your browser will use it in the steps that required it. For now, we will go to step number two, requesting your certificate online. And in this section, you have to enter the number of your identity document which can be the foreigner identity number, tax identification number, or Spanish ID. Your first surname exactly as it is on your identity document, and your email. This email address will be used for notification purposes and when scheduling an appointment to prove your identity. Now, click on the link below and some paragraphs stating the legal conditions for the use of this certificate will be displayed. Now, tick the checkbox and click on Send Request. After this, as it is the first time you are opening the program you installed previously, you will see a pop-up window asking for your permission to open it in your browser. Click on Open, and then you will have to write a password for your certificate that will be used to validate it at the end. If you lose it, you will have to start over the entire procedure. So the most advisable thing is to write this password down and have it at hand. Following this step, you will be informed that your request was processed successfully and that you should verify all the data indicated before. Also, in your email, you will receive a code for the request. And this would be the email you received where you will see your code and the type of identification you used, whether it was an NIF, a Spanish ID, or other. Once you have this code and all the required documentation, you will have to go to one of the authorized offices personally to prove your identity. First, let's see what documents you need to provide at the appointment. In the case of Spanish citizens, the application code and an identity document like the ID, passport, or driving license. In the case of European Union citizens, the application code, the national identification document for foreigners where the NIE is displayed along with a passport or identity document from the country of origin, or a European Union registration certificate along with a passport 
or identity document. And also, you can provide an official document granting the foreigner identity number or tax identification number along with the passport or identity document. In the case of foreigners, the application code, a red, green, or white identification card for foreigners along with the passport or an official document granting the foreigner identity number or tax identification number along with a passport. And where can you provide this document? If you are in Spanish territory, you can go to the offices of the tax agency or social security. You can use the office locator tool they show here, select the option of natural person and write an address. And here you can see the offices that issue the type of certificate you need. You can also check the social security offices directly on their website. Once in this page, you need to click this first option of registry offices for digital certificates. Choose if you want to sort them by autonomous community, province, municipality, or immigration office. And click on apply filters. Now you can see all the offices that are available for you to do this procedure of proving your identity. And they all require scheduling an appointment beforehand. If you don't know how to do this, I'll leave you the link to access a step-by-step -step tutorial. Now, after your appointment, you will download your certificate. You should have received an email with a link to download it. And for this, you have to enter the application code again, the number of the identity document you use for this process, and your first star name, as well as three things to consider. You have to download this certificate from the same computer you use when requesting. In the case you did it through a cell phone, you must go to the FNMT app and enter the section pending requests. And the third paragraph suggests you to check that your cryptographic card of the FNMT is ready to be used in case you did the process by this means. So click the link. And if this error message appears, just remember that you need to continue the process using the same browser as before, which in this case was Google Chrome. And here you only have to enter the data you have always been using, the number of the identity document, first surname, and the application code. Accept the conditions again. and download the certificate. Click accept. And now a message will show asking you to enter the password you specified at the beginning for the certificate. And also giving you the option to make a security copy of it. After, a new window will appear saying that your certificate was installed correctly. If you want to make sure it is working, simply go to the website of any Spanish institution like Social Security and try to log in using your certificate. Your browser should automatically display a window like this where you can choose the certificate you want to use. And that's it. Now you have your digital certificate ready to use whenever you want. For more information, do not forget to check our website and social media. I'll leave you the link in the description box and if you want to be updated on how to do your day-to-day -day procedures and paperwork, do not forget to subscribe to our channel.